Now gathering him, number 335, Sing of Mary, verses 1 and 3. Sing of Mary, pure and lowly, Virgin Mother undefiled. Sing of thy own Son most holy, who became her little child. Fairest child of fairest mother, God the Lord who came to earth, Word made flesh a very brother, Takes the nature by his birth. Glory be to God the Father, Glory be to God the Son, Glory be to God the Spirit, Glory to the Three and One. From the heart of Blessed Mary, From all saints the song of sons, and the church the string re echoes unto earth's remotest ends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, today we commemorate Our Lady of Fatima. So that we may be worthy to celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also. Grant us that pers persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. 
I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling. Rejoice. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way, Thomas said to him. Master, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. The message of Christ's resurrection is not just our own realization how God has conquered death to life, but it is also a manifestation of God, how he would empower us by the power of his resurrection. In our gospel today, his disciples were already asking him about the means and the sources of the many things that they are going to face. One of those things is his absence of physical presence when later on our loving Lord would ascend into heaven. Jesus continued to teach his disciples. If they live in the truth, they will always find the way. They were assured and given hope that in the Father's house there are a lot of dwelling places at the end point. But Jesus continued to tell them, I am the way and the truth and the life. In our way of listening to the different things that the Lord is revealing and unfolding to us, we are able to live divine life. And as also today we commemorate the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima, about 105 years ago, on May 13, 1917, while the children, Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco, were tending their flock, they saw the sky flash with lightning, and in the glowing brightness, the children beheld the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared in 13 of the month, until October 13, 1917, and however, pilgrims all rushed in Cuba, the area, and as a result, the call declared of Our Lady of Fatima started. Perhaps some of you here has made their pilgrimage at Our Lady of Fatima, but they have been asking about what truly has been revealed in the message of Our Lady. Well, Lucia has told this to many of those who were asking her, and as she said, 
The simple message of Our Lady is always to pray the rosary and to make repentance for the rest of the world. I think, my dear friends, for all of us who are devoted to our loving mother, the same message is she is always giving to us. She is always bringing and giving us her only begotten, her, her son, the son of our Lord. And thus, for all of us who continue in our journey to faith, in our devotion to the prayer of the rosary, and as we also continually pray for the world, may we always become enlightened and listen to the very voice of God. Yes, miracles unfolds in our own very lives, but the greatest miracle is a conversion of heart through prayer. May Our Lady of Fatima intercede and pray for us. Amen. Let us now stand. To the intercession of Mary, the Virgin of Fatima, let us pray for forgiveness of our sins as well as for all sinners, that the Lord may show us his mercy and grant peace in our days. Through the intercession of Mary, we ask protection for the Holy Father, the Pope, for the conversion of sinners, and for peace in the world. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. May we pray with frequency and devotion the Rosary of Mary, sweet chain which binds us to God, and bond of love which unites us to the angels. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Prayers. At the end of each Rosary decade, may we pray this prayer the Blessed Mother taught the children of Fatima. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we consecrate our very being and our whole life to the Virgin Mary, Queen of Heaven and Refuge of Sinners, that we may share the benefits of her motherly blessing. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May Saints Francisco and Jacinta, the seers of Fatima, intercede in heaven for all, especially for the children and young people. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Steve Hussar, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. Lord, we now address to you the prayer of the angel of peace taught to three children of Fatima. My God, I believe, adore, I hope, and love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn will be number 527. 527, The Supper of the Lord. Precious body, precious blood, sin is bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now. Up of life is what Come share the supper of the Lord. This 
This is the bread of God. Coming down from heaven, giving life to us, to all the world. Precious Lord, He prays. Just Lord, sin is red and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the peace divine. Bread of love is broken now. Cup of life is Share the supper of the Lord. Brethren, my sacrifice and yours are made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Holy Father, this offering of humility, which bring with joy as you commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary of Fatima. And grant we pray that it may be for us, who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this day of which we celebrate the Blessed Virgin Mary of Fatima. And by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived the only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. You are indeed only a Lord in the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Yes, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection unto you come, unto you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin, and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Mary, woman of the promise, thus all of your people's dreams, through your hope and willing spirit, waters of God's goodness stream. Mary, song of holy wisdom, song before the world began. Faithful to the word within you, carried out God's wondrous plan. Mary, morning star of justice, mirror of the radiant light, and the shadows of life's journey be a beacon for our sight. Mary, model of compassion, wounded by your offspring's pain, when our hearts are torn by sorrow, teach us how to love again. Mary, woman of the gospel, humble home for measured seed, Help us to be true disciples, bearing fruit in word and deed. the sacramental of celebrated with us of the word of God which we have heard as well as the affection of the parish community as a prayers of those whom you have to visit and return go now with God's peace and blessing Let us now pray together the prayer to Our Lady of Fatima. Together, Mother of all individuals and peoples, you know all their sufferings and hopes. In your motherly heart, you feel all the struggles between good and evil, between light and darkness that convulse the world. Accept the plea which we make in the Holy Spirit directly to your heart and embrace with the love of the mother and the handmaid of the Lord those who most await your embrace and also those whose act of entrustment you to await in a particular way. Take under your motherly protection to the whole human family with affectionate love we entrust to you, O Mother. May dawn for everyone the time of peace and freedom, the time of truth, of justice and hope. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of your mother, of your son, may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. We now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn will be number 333. 333, Hail Holy Queen. The holy wind and throne above, O Maria, O Mother of mercy and love, O Maria, O Maria, I of all ye cherubim, sing with us ye sing. Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina. Our life as witness here below, O Maria, our hope and sorrow. Thank you. 